Okay, here we go. Good morning, everybody. Uh, today is Monday, March 21st, 2022, and this is the regular meeting of the Wisconsin Advisory Board. Uh, let me just remind you that we're doing this, uh, being recorded on Zoom, and anything that you say will be recorded. Video and audio, he said, trying to, there we go. Held against you. Okay, yeah, there we go. All right, uh, okay, let's see, I'm gonna put the agenda up. And... Are we seeing the agenda? Yes. Okay. Yes. There we are. Okay, uh, members present, when I call your name, please respond. Uh, Clement Durkis? Here. Caroline Ellis? Here. Uh, Angus McLeod? Here. Uh, Rob Benchley is here. Uh, the chairman declares there is, we have a quorum. With that, I will take a motion to approve the agenda as displayed. So moved. Thank you. Okay. So I hear a second. All those in favor? Yep. Hi. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much. Okay. With that, we will move to item number one, which is uh, chimney painting for 22 Canterbury and there we are. Okay, there we have it. Uh, first, I thought this house was in Pacama. It's a little like the Gamble House. Yeah. Here's a photograph that they provided of the pretty much the current situation. That's the view from Canterbury. That's the rear. And there's the front. Um, anybody care to comment? I, I, I can't remember. I, are there other painted chimneys in that area? I mean, we know they're all over the village. I was just going to ask if there were any context photos. I don't remember painted chimneys there, but my first thought is, is that uh, I'd prefer for them to be natural, um, but if yeah. there's if there's a good precedent for it, you know it's hard to argue with. Yeah, I'm not seeing a precedent though. Oh, Clement, I think you're uh, muted. Ed was barking. I have not been down there to look at chimneys. I should have driven down there, but I didn't. So I don't know. I agree. If there's a precedent for white chimneys, fine, but I don't, I don't know why. I have no objection. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, I would like to see if there are other examples down there. I, I was going to show you the photograph, but I couldn't find it. There's a chimney somewhere. Uh, parallel to one of those roads, either Hawk Circle or might be in back of uh, Underhill Lane or something. There's a nice white chimney with a red stripe through the middle of it, just like Sankety. <laughs> but that's not in this area, so. Okay, great. Um, if there are no further comments. We'll move on to item number two. And let's see if I can. I think that's what you're seeing, right? Yes. Yeah. The elevation of the summer house looking towards summer the water. house. Yeah. Say so they're doing a lot of great work there. Um, this is for a ramp, and I, and I believe as well they're redoing the entire deck to accommodate that. There's a plan view with the magnolia over here on the left. 
and this is as incorporated and concealed as it, it can be, you know, with a, a ramp needing to be as long as it would need to be. Um, the only thing in this plan that, that I would discourage is that um, that corner rail, that outside corner rail. I, I think if there's a ramp and there's a stair with a rail to the right, that, um, that there shouldn't be a rail at that corner, that outside corner. Yeah, I'm trying to find that. Here it comes. Right, right here. Right. Must be for safety. Yeah, I mean, there's, what is that, 10 feet of steps that you could walk down without a rail. And on that side where the outside rail, outside corner is, there's the ramp. Uh, and the other side, there's a, you know, over on the north side to the right is a, is a handrail going down. So yeah. I feel like you're covered if you need a rail. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, if the other way to handle that is to just have it be symmetrical with the right side is for it to just come straight out perpendicular to the, to the ramp and have a straight rail there. Yeah. In fact, I think that's kind of awkward to have it go that way anyway, because it's just headed into, you know, one private cottage or the alley. And if you're headed to the, you know, to Magnolia, you just take the ramp. Yeah. So it might be a better plan to just come out with a, a rail like the other side straight out and not have that angled thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, there was one, there was one kind of drawing that bothered me and I think it, it was focused on that actually that spot, but it was from the South side, the South elevation. Um, Let's see if that's it. No, that's. I know what you mean. Here it is. Oops. No. No. I just had it. No. It was from Magnolia, so that would be south. really weird oh here we are oops there yeah that one because it looks like i mean you can see you well it looks like three steps going up which it's not it's a ramp yeah uh oh i'm sorry what uh what i believe they're doing is they're bringing the they're bringing the whole deck up to the floor level of the inside because right now it's a step down right mm -hmm. yep. but yep. you're looking at that little little square on the right right now and you it, can you make that bigger yeah that right there because i mean it those three steps should be the ramp and then you see that part that angus is talking about of the angle yeah. which would look better if it did go straight and not yeah. have that angle stairs. And obviously that's got to be the ramp and it's got to be wide enough for a wheelchair. And the yeah. approximate location of the adjacent cottage is pretty close. So maybe they could give it a little more room. And where would the, um, where would the um, person with the wheelchair how would they approach the ramp? Since this seems to be my life. Um, a shell? I think it's there's a shell path. You mean from the? It, it, let's say you parked in front of. Oh, of the you'd street. have to walk all the way around to Magnolia. Yeah, they'd have to go around to Magnolia. I think Magnolia would be the place to drop off. Yeah. Okay. All right. I just wanted to make sure it was possible. Yeah. Well, right now there's a shell little walkway, which is not great for a wheelchair. 
not definitely not. So, so that's a that's that's uh, wooden. Mm -hmm. It would be helpful for him to show that like, little cottage uh, in that floor plan you're waving at. Yeah. Yeah. That cottage. Because if you look just below there at the site plan, that's pretty close. Yeah. No, there is a where you can see the cottage real clearly. Yeah, it's pretty tight. Maybe we need, need more information or something. Well, there's the picture. You can yep. see where, the, I guess the ramp would be where the- um, Where the shell the dirt is. is. It'll be right up against the, the building. Yeah, that planting bed would go away. Mm -hmm. uh, I see, okay. Seems like a decent plan. It just get rid of that corner thing. Yeah. Yeah, that was my first uh, my first reaction. Yeah, bring it straight out. I think that's good. They've got to do it by code. They have to have a yeah handicap ramp. And I think over the years they've done their best, but. Uh, <clears throat> um, you know, I think this will work a lot better. It will. Oh, work I, I see why they did uh, climate. You've mentioned the in one of the elevations. The uh, here it is. Mm -hmm. It looked like steps, but that actually is a just a change in level. There, it's I hope that's ramp. just the ramp. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a break in the. So there's a ramp and a flat space and a ramp and a flat space. Yeah. Okay. Good. Excellent, everybody. Thank you. Item number three, uh, 28 Main Street. Uh, is that showing on your screen now? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, so here's the front elevation. They, uh, did you all get a chance to look at some of the historic photographs that they submitted with this? Yes. Uh, there is what they called a balustrade on the roof right, right there. And that's just a decorative balustrade. It's not a platform. You can't walk out there. Uh, it was yeah. only there for a short amount of time. Um, I see absolutely no reason to put a widow's walk on the village of Rome. It looks top heavy. It, it is decorative only. It seemed that there was not going to be any access. Um, and I, I, the implication was that the chimneys were no longer um, going to be used. So there's absolutely no room, no reason for this. I agree. I I think it follows the same design as the one on Atlantic House, which is a much bigger structure because um, they're showing some kind of a decorative X at the, in the front and back, which is just, I mean, it's, it serves a purpose. It dominates the house. It's um, overwhelming and there's no need for it. It's, it's a beautiful, simple building in my eye without it. Yes, this really compromises the, the structure. Sweet. I think. Sweet building. Seems like a lot of work for something that's just decorative. But that's not our concern. No, nope. except that historically it's not appropriate and it dominates the building and it's not a feature that we, I mean, there are some roof walks on Main Street, but um, this one is not part of this building, never was. And typically the roof walk would be on a two-story building and this is barely mm -hmm. one and a half. Mm -hmm. um, and, and generally there would be an open skirt in, uh, or no skirt, uh, but I don't even think we should even get into the details because I just don't see any place for this here. 
Yeah. Yeah, this is Rob. I I I quite agree. Um all right, great. Thank you very much. It's a the house is, is looking really great. Oh, it's beautiful. It's just lovely. On the outside anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> lovely, lovely. I, I love the house history that came with this application and and uh, was that something that uh, NPT did or was that the no, or no, was that the I, trust? I it's the trust. It's the Wisconsin Trust. It, it yeah. is a wonderful house profile that um, was commissioned uh, by the trust before the house was sold, hoping to um, encourage the new buyers to um, keep as much of the historic uh, parts. Yeah, interior and exterior. No, I, I I was very pleased to see that that was included with the application. Yeah. So I don't know who did who did that, but that was great. And thank you for remembering. I've forgotten. Villa Jerome. Mm -hmm. Villa Jerome, right? Okay, uh, we'll move on to item number four now, and this is the Srail Club. Uh, three New Street, Sconset. Um, when we first had this application, this is Rob speaking. Um, it was to, it was mostly for window changes. I I I, re I recall distinctly, and they um, I didn't see anything on the application that was going to be talking about a complete stripped down but be that <laughs> as, as as it may here we are an application for um uh can you see this this is what it looks like well as of last month are you seeing that that picture that photograph yeah. okay yes. great i'm just well, seeing, I'm not seeing a photograph no, not a photograph but oh, okay uh the drawing Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh Lord, <clears throat> yeah. That and just kills me when I see just a few token old sheathing boards. Yeah, pictures of the inside. Is it just all new framing? Yeah, yes. it was. Um, they they cut out the floor systems and everything just in great big chunks and threw it in that dumpster and off it went. What a waste! And I didn't see anything on the. You know, I I know we don't deal with the interiors, but it's. This is certainly an exterior change. And anyway. Whatever they've done in the back too, Rob, is substantial. And they've cleared, they cleared the land back there that the summer house owns. And um, that's not our problem either. But anyway, it's very, uh, very much changed. Okay, I just lost the panel I was looking for. Anyway, so what do what do we think about the architectural shingles? So, um, the Wisconsin Advisory and uh, Historic Structures Advisory Board have been seeing more and more applications for architectural <coughs> shingles, and this, last I knew, that just wasn't accepted in the core historic district, Wisconsin in town. Um, so. I, unless there's been some sort of policy change, I don't know why we're seeing these applications, but, um, but I, 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 I think that it was, you know, not appropriate and, and still isn't appropriate. I, I don't think anything's changed about that. Yeah, thank you, Angus. I've, I agree that we've not been, I mean, we've been getting more and more and, um, Uh, they seem to be kind of creeping in, and I don't, I don't know what what the status is on on the thinking on it from the HDC. But um, if the rest of you feel the same way, I can make a note that we that we haven't really determined that 
architecturals are appropriate for the core districts. And, and it's, it, it, you know, it's, it seems like it comes and goes. I mean, in my personal case, you know, I'm way up on Sankety Road and uh, when I got a new roof a few years ago, wanted to put architectural on there and they said it wasn't appropriate. So, I mean, I'm not trying to compare the two only to say that this is a mile from the core district and the answer was no, so. So should we say no in the core district? Well, I think that's that that's been pretty standard, has it not? I thought so. Okay. You know, um, Diane Coombs has been joining our um, historic structures advisory board meeting, and it's just nice to have someone from the HDC in. Yeah. Um, in these advisory board meetings. So I'll ask her about that, um, you know, what the HDC policy is, but I, you know, I, I don't know why people would be asking for them if they're not getting away with them, you know? Um, right. So I hope that that hasn't just been another, you know, facet of the guidelines that have just dropped. Well, it may have to do with the agent. Too. Maybe the agent is able to do that in other places on the island, you know. And also um, the red cedar roof shingles, are, you, they're like hen's teeth these days, that and the white cedar white walls. So maybe they're just trying to get a roof on and they said, well, let's put architecturals on. Just a thought. Well, yeah, uh, once, we go down, once we go down that road, I mean, I hear that, that that's just the white cedar sidewall shingles are unavailable. Right. Um, and we're not gonna just put up, you know, hardy plank instead. Right. <laughs> or some other kind of thing. Um, you know, we have to wait till, till our somewhat indigenous supplies are, are, uh, are, are back again. Right, right. Plywood ranch, yeah. Okay, so um, this would be a probably not for the architectural, right? Black three tab. Yeah. It just has a different look and a different character and one reads old and one reads new. I mean, yeah. It's such a great building with such a great history. It just isn't formal at all. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I can find that other picture. Hang on a sec. Yeah. Yes, lovely, lovely, lovely. <laughs> yeah. That's wonderful, Rob. Eyes and lies. Eyes and yeah. lies, right? <laughs> okay, great. Uh, lovely. Did somebody from the uh, NPT wanted to say anything, or are we are we good? Um, no, we don't have anything to add. Just, yeah, it's a okay. lovely watercolor. <laughs> and that beauty, yeah. Can you, what was the logo like? You, I think you told me, but I can't remember. Yeah. Oh, it's a, it's the, um, the, the Burgi is uh, over here is a, um, it's a picture of a bluefish wearing glasses. Oh. <laughs> Um, that was part of their whole business was, you know, it was the Liars Club and the whole story about they kept catching every, every summer they kept catching the same bluefish and 
and they knew because one year they caught it and they put a pair of glasses on it. So <laughs> every time, every summer, they caught the same bluefish with the with, with the, the pair glasses. of glasses. So so that's their burgee. And I know Joan Porter has one of those, and I just discovered that Jerry Eldridge has one. He showed it to me a couple of weeks ago. Wow. Made out of wool. It's a beautiful thing. And um, I think that's going to be donated to something sometime soon, I'm told. So as well as sharing that. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Yeah, really fun. Lovely. Okay. Can you use, I hope. I'm sorry, uh, what, what, Caroline? No, I just hope Clement can use it this summer. That, that illustrate, I mean, that's such a beautiful watercolor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would be wonderful to have. Shaped. Wouldn't it be nice to have a museum of some type somewhere? Yep. Like in the trust office at the community school is now the fire station. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we're getting go. ahead of ourselves. Oh, yeah, we are. Okay. Um, all right, then. Uh, this has been fun. and. I'll take a motion to uh, approve the comments that we've made during this incredible so session. Moved. So moved. Thank you. Uh, I heard a I second. Did. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, thank you. And then a motion to adjourn. So, so moved. moved. Second. All right. All Aye. those in favor? Aye. Rita, Aye. thank you for coming. Thank you. Rita. Thanks, Clement. And I'll, <laughs> I'll let you guys know um, what I learned from Holly and have a great time. Esmeralda about driving next in the next few weeks. <laughs> okay. okay, everybody. Thank you, Thank you all. Thank bye you bye. very much.